Hi folks, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 video. Today we're having a look at one of my favorite mods from FS19, the Vehicle Control Add-on. Uh, so to download it, you need to go to the GitHub of the creator. The link is below, and uh, that will bring you to this page. Click on FS22 Vehicle Control Add-on zip, and then select Download, and then copy that into your mods folder and load the game up. We are on Elm Creek with Vehicle Control Add-on installed. And I just want to show some of the options that might be of interest. So I'm not going to show you everything, and mainly I'm going to focus on GPS. Um, so it's Control c to open up the menu. And internal camera rotation is interesting. So if we put both of those on, so there's an internal and an external one. And if you steer, the camera just rotates a little bit just to give you a bit of a peek. Um, and particularly if you're in cab, uh, of any traffic that's coming, something like that. Uh, so I think that's quite cool. Uh, I may use that one uh, when I'm driving around. And the other one is peak sideways, which is here, which I've got on. And then if you hold the left shift key and the left and right, right shift key and the left and right arrows, it'll do a quick peek for you. And the same if you're external. And again, useful if you're pulling out of a junction and you've got traffic on. I thought those were quite cool features. On to the main feature, which for me is the GPS that's built in to the vehicle control add-on in FS19. I use that over Wopster's mod just because I prefer it. Uh, so if you scroll down, you've got this section. I think this is new. Snap driving direction by 90 degrees. This is really cool. Uh, great if you're doing headlands, things like that. I'm going to stick that on so we can see what that's like. And I'm going to put the driving markers on to always on. Um, just so they're showing while we're doing stuff. I normally run them on this one, and this will have them on when you're at the end of a row and you're turning your things, but then put them off when you're doing the run. It makes it look a bit neater. Um, so we'll have that as always on. And actually, I'm going to switch to the John Deere, uh, which has got a nice big cultivator on the back, um, just because it doesn't have an offset, so that we can show things slightly easier just at the start. Uh, so if I get lined up down here, and we'll, uh, we'll have a quick look at how we set GPS up. So, going back into the menu, first interesting thing we're here is the snap angle. Uh, that sets how finely you can set your heading. You can go from one degree through five, 15, 22, 45, and 90. I quite like five degrees or one degree normally, personally. Uh, and that will take you to the nearest five degree or one degree point. So, uh, and if you see in the bottom right, just above the HUD, we have got our heading shown. And then if I hit Control W, that will set the snap direction to the nearest five degrees, which is zero in this case. If we turn the tractor a little bit to 15 degrees, uh, and it's Alt W to clear. And then if we hit Control W again, it sets the heading. So we'll do Alt W to clear it off, and then we will do Control w to set our heading now you can see we're not quite lined up right so if we want to move that we use left control and the left and right arrows to move it left and right and then if you want to change the angle you can use the up and down arrows and that will change it as well uh, and that's pretty much it for getting started so we'll drop the cultivator down and we'll run along this row so this i think this is an in development version still so there might be bugs um but for me, this is a really key mod for how I like to play FS. Um, and on licenses, you don't have to pay for it. You know, if you're buying a tractor like we have here, which would have GPS built in, you shouldn't have to pay an extra 15 grand, in my view, to get GPS. Downside, if you're using it on older tractors, then you're not paying for it, and that's maybe unrealistic. But anyway, we're going to run to the end, and then I'm going to show you the Snap 90 function, which I really like. Uh, so if we just get to the end of the row here, lift the cultivator up and back up. Not the best at driving articulated tractors, but you'll see as we've turned through 90 degrees, the GPS has snapped by 90 degrees. Uh, now you'd probably want to use uh, control and the arrow keys just to move it so it aligns with the headland properly. Then control W again. And we're off. And that's kind of the basics of using this. Um, 
to set the width you can either go in and do detect width and that will set it for you you can set it manually um, or you can sorry my neighbors are renovating and they just started hammer drilling so I've briefly switched the video off and they're still going hopefully that's not showing through uh, so if we set the working width wrong and go back out uh, so we have working with a one meter if we hit control alt and w it auto detects the width and i found the auto width detection is pretty good with uh, the vca gps um, it will also detect offsets which is also really useful so if we finish this row so if we now jump in the doits we've got the cavernalum plow on the back and obviously it's an offset plow first difference with using one of these turn off snap 90 that seems to mess around with how the offsets and the rotating work uh, and then we'll hit control w to set our heading at zero degrees and i'm going to do a control alt w to reset the width uh, and then off we go we are plowing i'm not going to do the whole row because obviously it's going to take quite a while just want to show you the rotating work properly this is something that i struggled with in fs19 and if we hit rotate on the plow you can see that the driving direction is already set up so that we can uh, drop our plow down and we get a nicely lined up row so that for me is quite a big improvement over what I found using it in FS19. If I now rotate the plow again. We are all set up to do our next row. This is a game changer for me for playing FS22. Um, so much better. Um, works great for most things uh, if you watch some of my fs19 videos if you combine it with follow me you can do some really cool things with running two tractors that you're in control of we don't have follow me yet but when we get it i'll be showing you how to do that as well so if you found this useful give me a comment give me a like if you're not already subscribed turn on the notifications so you get uh turn on the little bell ring the little bell so you get notifications of my pretty much daily farm sim videos catch you next time